Dear black girl, your hair is the perfect texture. I know no one taught you caring for your curls and coils would include unlearning the hair type you were conditioned to believe you wanted. But once you realize that you don't have to conform to any beauty standard but your own, you become unstoppable. Welcome to a week in my hair. So of course we are starting off with wash day. I had this ponytail in, so we gotta start by taking that out. And of course, as soon as I cut on the camera, y'all needs come on to say, hey. So hey, Zeb Zeb. We're just gonna do what you normally do when you take out a ponytail. You're just gonna, well me, not you, it's me. I'm gonna unravel um, the pony and get down to the wrapping paper where she wrapped it around. It was a little harder to cut it off, um, more so than I thought it would be. So I kind of like yanked at it for a second. And then I said, all right, all right, all right, let's have some patience. So I just took a second and then went off camera to like really cut it off and get it off the proper way instead of ripping it out of my hair. <laughs> um, and then once we got back, I just took down my hair and y'all know that feeling of after you have like a berry, berry structured style in, you can't wait to rub your scalp. Oh, I couldn't wait to touch it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use this pre-poo and sealing oil by y'all see the name on the screen. It's going to be linked in the description box. It's a small black owned business. I found her on Instagram because she is really, really well known for growing the crap out of her client's hair. And she has um, a hair care line and it is always sold out to the point where you have to like set your alarm for when it drops like once a quarter. And I do fear, I do fear friends that that drop happened when I'm recording this voiceover, it happened yesterday. So like by the time you see this it will have happened like three or four days ago. And I'm so sorry, but like I said, her, Instagram will be in the description. I have been using these products for months and I love them. In particular, this protein treatment. Now this protein treatment, I ain't gonna hold you. It doesn't smell very great. It's clearly a mayo based formula because it literally smells like mayo and you have to keep it refrigerated, which leads me to believe because the ingredient, I don't think the ingredient list is explicitly on here, probably for like proprietary reasons i don't know all i know is that my hair loves this stuff but you do have to keep it refrigerated and it does smell like food which leads me to believe it's probably made out of a lot of food things because she does say that it's organic um and usually i don't necessarily buy into those types of things growing your hair but i can say along with the other things that i have changed in my diet my hair is infinitely more healthy now than it has been over the past year. I actually looked at the state of my hair from the end of 2022 until now and really saw how much my hair has changed. And I'm just really excited to get back on this healthy hair journey because my hair was not doing well there. Now, let's get into the shower. Now that my protein treatment is all in, it sat for a while. I usually like to sit for like eight hours if I can. I didn't sit for that long this time because I had to get in the shower. But um, they recommend that you can do it for up to 24 hours and I usually do around like that five, eight hour mark. And you can see how shiny and beautiful my hair already is. For the shampoo and conditioner, we're going to be using the Amico Hydro Boost line. I actually really, really like this line. It was introduced to me via a sponsorship and I think that the products work really, really well. I went through and washed my hair two times, but the um, protein treatment actually says three times. So be advised if you do um, choose to buy that product, I should have washed my hair extra time, but it's cool. Now I'm gonna go on with the Amica conditioner. And like I said, this conditioner is so good and I wouldn't expect a line like Amica to work for my hair because I feel like in general, I've kind of thought of them as like a brand, LOL me splashing myself in the face. Anywho, I thought of it as like a brand for people that don't have curly hair, but I really like it. Now this Olaplex moisturizing mask, they did a big one. Olaplex really did their big one. And this is another thing that I wouldn't think to 
invest in another product that I want to think to invest in. That's why I'm really, really happy that I receive as much PR that I do because I get to try things that I would have never picked up and then recommend things to you guys. Also, it's very, very important to use moisturizing things after you use a protein treatment and not necessarily products that put more protein into your hair. You only want to focus in pushing more protein into your hair. And that's why I chose to use the products that I chose for this wash day. And then last and final, we're gonna use the Fenty Comeback Kit in my hair. It's not gonna be like my official leave-in. I'm really just gonna be using it as a treatment just so I can get out of the shower with something in my hair. And y'all know I really like this product. So it was perfect to get this, I guess, I was gonna say get this wash day started. That's not what I meant. It is perfect to get this wash and go started. So now we are out of the shower. The hair is looking very good, very shiny, very healthy. I know y'all see it. Debbie, please. She's about to stop the recording. Debbie, please. Okay, so we're gonna start out with my favorite leave-in conditioner at the moment, which another product that was given to me or was shown to be good to me through sponsorships. And I emphasize that a lot because I think that in this day and age, we just kind of assume that if something is sponsored, it's like a bad thing. But in reality, if you're following influencers that you trust, you should be getting put on to very, very good products because also this Olaplex gel is hands down my favorite gel that I have tried all year. This wash and go combo is the only wash and go combo that I have been doing as of lately because the way that the Shea Moisture Leave-In mixes with this Olaplex bonding gel, it's just chef's kiss. And you're gonna be able to see the amount of definition that I am able to get with just these two products. I do follow up this wash and go always the last step being a mousse, which is my Camille Rose spiked honey mousse. I don't think I showed it on camera for whatever reason, but I absolutely used it as a last step. And this is how the hair is looking. Y'all see that definition? Oh yes, I did. I did show it. I did show it. I did show it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yes, this mousse is always going to be my final step in the process because it just gives me that extra little mm for having a defined and long lasting wash and go. So I go through and spread that all over my hair and then I clip my hair back and take the section that I damaged earlier, like a few months ago. And I use perm rods for the front of my hair and it really does help camouflage the damage that I have up there. And this is how the hair is looking. It's so good and juicy and delectable, but I do not go to bed with wet hair. And like I said, I was just showing y'all that that leave-in is all gone and I had to open up another one. But anywho, I'm gonna sit under the dryer before I go to bed. And now this is day two or technically day one. Me waking up, my hair is completely dried, very shrunken, but unbelievably defined and that's the way that I like it because the hair is gonna get bigger and bigger as the week goes on. I like to break the cast with the Shea Moisture Bonding Oil and then go ahead and take out those perm rods and this is the results that I get on the front of my hair. The section where the perm rods are is gonna be pretty springy that first day but I'm okay with that because they're gonna fall all week long so we're gonna leave them like that. And on the first day, I actually don't really usually wear my hair down. I usually just separate it and then put it up in a bun, which is what I did. I was running out of the house um, for an early morning appointment. So I didn't show y'all me putting it up in a bun, but it was truly just like a loose bun with a scrunchie. Now this is later on in the evening. As you guys are gonna see all week, my nighttime routine is really, really repetitive. I'm gonna use the new Sacred Serum that's advertised to promote hair growth on your edges and throughout your hair. I'm gonna use that. I just got that in PR, so I'm trying that out. I can't really speak to whether or not it works, but I'm trying it. And then I use grapeseed oil most days and nights on my hair just because Miss Jessica, who's the person that takes care of my natural hair now, um, and was featured in that blog when I cut all my hair off, she recommended specifically that I use grapeseed oil. Then I just put my hair up into a little scrunchie, put a bonnet on top, and then put my sleep mask on. And baby, that's it. That's how I go to bed. Cause I get questions all the time about how I sleep with my hair. And it's just that simple. I keep it real cute. And I think that because I sleep with a sleep mask, it helps for my bonnet not to slip off during the night. But even if it does, I also sleep with satin pillowcases. So I'm never really putting unnecessary friction on my hair. 
So again, we're gonna see, again, repetitive products. I'm just putting a little grapeseed oil in my hair and shaking it out and a little, oh, I did, guess I decided to mix it up and use this Shea Moisture hair growth or hair strengthening serum as well. I use this, this one pretty off and on. It kind of sits um, underneath my counter as like my go-to products that I use on a daily. So I guess that's what I decided to use this morning, but that genuinely changes. And then because I'm working from home, I just put my hair back in that um, headband and that was it. Now, this is later that evening. This is after I got out of the shower. Surprise, surprise, grapeseed oil, boom, through the hair. And again, I'm not using a lot. I just wanna make sure that my hair is getting some good moisture and my hair is keeping that moisture in while I'm sleeping. Then I did a little bit more of the Shea Moisture Serum all over the head and then also did some of the Sacred Serum as well. And then I put my hair up in that same, girl, this is gonna be so repetitive, in that same scrunchie, put that bonnet on, put that sleeve mask on, and I took my butt to sleep. Now, welcome to Zay 3. This one, we're gonna mix it up, we're gonna mix it up. Don't you worry, don't you worry. So Zay 3, I just shook down my hair. I, I'm not gonna keep saying it, girl. We are using the same things over and over again. Um, and I just put that throughout my hair and just let my hair really like breathe and be this day because at this point I'm getting the volume that I really look for in a wash and go. And then I went about my day. Later on, we're gonna mix it up, but for now we're just putting it back in a headband and we're gonna go throughout our day. So let's kick it over to later on in the day where we're gonna mix it up and talk about the sponsor of today's video. It is now later in the day and it's time to officially thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Curls Queen. They are not new to this channel at all. I love my Curls Queen clip-ins because they really make it a priority to give the girls clip-ins for every single texture, which we will get into. Now let's get into the goodies that you get in the package. Y'all recognize this gold bonnet. I've actually been wearing it all video long because I genuinely love the bonnet. And then of course they always give you a brush, extra clips in case anything happens to your clip but let's get into the whole reason that we're all here, which is the clips. So this time around, I did go with 14 inch clip-ins because I wanted to just add volume to my hair as opposed to length. And I will put the texture that I got and the links to everything down in the description box. So the first thing I always do anytime I get any type of hair is to wash the hair thoroughly, but I also wanted to wash the hair to show y'all the true texture and the length of the clip-ins because you know how curly hair does it gives shrinkage baby so i went through and washed the bundles a couple of times um make sure that you are treating this hair like it's your own so don't don't be using no um no what is it called v8 ain't that ain't that the shampoo and conditioner at the dollar store don't be using that Mm -mm. use some good old quality shampoo and conditioner i washed the clip-ins two or three times and then once i felt like they were sufficiently clean i went through and put a gang of conditioner on the clip-ins because y'all know that curly hair loves conditioner and as y'all can see the hair is eating it gives very much my hair and i like i said earlier treat all of my curly clip-ins as if they are my hair in order to have longevity in the hair and to also make it blend as well as possible when I am putting them in. But y'all see the material, the shine, the luster, the curl definition, like it's going crazy. So now we're gonna go through and define the hair. I'm gonna use a leave-in on the clip-ins first and brush that through. And as you can see, the hair is taking beautifully to product, super shiny, curl pattern going crazy. Now I'm going to add a curl custard because I've actually used this specific line on this hair before and knew that the hair did really, really well with it. So I did not want to fix something that was not broken. I went through and added the curl custard and then topped it all off with some mousse. Very much exactly how I do my own hair, the steps that I do my own hair in. And this is the results that we have. I let them sit out to dry for a second, but then I stuck them in my portable dryer just so that they could dry faster <laughs> because I am wearing them tonight out to dinner. So my hair is already done, as y'all know from this video, and I liked to do clip-ins, not on brand new hair, but on a little bit 
of like old hair, I guess you could say. Now y'all see the way that these clippings match my texture perfectly to a T, beautiful. And then of course, Debbie had to come join us because of course Debbie had to be in our business, but then she left cause she got bored. So <laughs> I'm going to start from the bottom um, and put the clippings in. These are very comfortable to wear. I don't usually put clippings on the very, very bottom of my hair if I'm not looking for length. I wanted to put them a little higher up just so that the length of my hair could remain true to, I want to say true to size, so that the cur <laughs> the curly clippings can mock the length of my hair. Because like I said before, I am just looking to add volume. And as I was putting these in, I was like, oh, these eat so bad. Like, they look so good already and as you can see they're blending in perfectly not just hair wise but also the wefts and how much they camouflage the top of the wefts is really good so i just went through and basically made sure to evenly distribute the clip-ins all over my hair And then I went in and just cut off some straggly pieces, but y'all, the texture match is so bad. I had to literally pull the hair strand to see if it's my hair or the clip-ins. Like y'all see the material. This hair is so, so good. It's gonna be perfect for just a little elevated look on my hair. If you want to shop Curls Queen, then make sure that you click the link in my description box. Thank you again to Curls Queen for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into taking care of my hair for the rest of the week. Okay, boom, welcome to day four. I only showed y'all just me this morning, um, just to show y'all the results of after I wear clip-ins in my hair. I actually really like the day after I wear clip-ins because my hair has a lot more volume because the clips, like having them in just literally gives your hair more volume. And I'm gonna go work out, so I just put my hair in a scrunchie, surprise, surprise, in a headband, surprise, surprise, and then I get to my workout. And I didn't show y'all the nighttime routine because it was literally the exact same thing. Now that we're getting to day five, I decided to do a little slick back. At first, I wanted to do something that was a little looser, and then I was like, you know what, no. I wanna slick it down even harder. I am spraying clove water in my hair. So I keep, I think that's clove and fenugreek water underneath my sink just to use to re-wet my hair because clove water is really good for like hair strength and hair growth. And then I used um, some more products from the woman I mentioned earlier, just her moisturizing mask milk kind of a vibe just to give my hair a little bit more of like slip in order to do this slick back. I love this like headband hook scrunchy thing tool thing. I'll definitely have those linked down below there by can too. Absolutely love them. I wanted something a little tighter so I ended up adding a headband and almost chucking myself out. And then even when I did that, I was like, oh, I don't like the way that this looks. So I ended up doing something a little tighter. You're gonna see me go through and do that in a second. But this edge control by, I think it's called Doso Beauty is literally my favorite edge control at the moment. I have been using it for almost a year now because it got gifted to me at the Black Girl Digital Awards last year. That was the first time I ever discovered the products. So since Black Girl Digital is like next week, it's been about a year of me using that edge control consistently. It's genuinely my favorite. And of course I will have it linked in the description box. And I was literally smiling and giggling at the end of this clip because I'm like, how many times am I gonna one, throw up a peace sign? And two, I was also gagged at how good my hair looks. Like my hair just looks so healthy and so nice and so cute. And that brings us to day six, where we are literally just about to repeat the exact same thing all over again. I really do feel like the growth that I've been able to experience is because Jessica told me that I was literally doing too much with trying too many products. So the thing I needed to prioritize was making sure that I was using the same staple products week over week. And that is the advice I'm going to give to y'all. If you don't purchase the things that are in this video, that's totally okay. Okay, but please take away the fact that you should just be using the same products as much as you possibly can so that your hair can get used to them. And with all that being said, 
that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I am going to see you for a super exciting vlog next week. Bye guys. Girl, I get the money with we'll me to mine. Oh. If you love me, nothing, nothing make you mad. Oh. Lonely.